Police in Casey County say a major supplier of illegal drugs is out of business and now in jail. Kentucky State Police say they found more than 50 pounds of drugs in his possession. Roger Mullins is facing charges at the local and state level, but a federal indictment is also expected. WKYT's Phil Pendleton is in Casey County with the details. Casey County has had a number of drug arrests over the years, but Sheriff Chad Weddle tells me that they've had absolutely nothing to this magnitude. Roger Mullins is now over here in the Casey County Jail, a place that he is expected to stay for quite some time. And in fact, Weddle tells me he does not expect Roger Mullins to ever get out of incarceration again. Now, Mullins was found with 50 pounds of methamphetamine. Police say three kilograms of cocaine, along with four pounds of heroin and some marijuana. Police say Mullins admitted to trafficking in illegal narcotics. He was also found with $100,000 in cash, money that he told them that he had just dug up from his backyard after making plans to go to Mexico. Instead, the 73-year-old Mullins went to jail. A couple things is probably going to happen. Uh, it's going to be a little harder to get meth, and meth is going to be more expensive. Uh, unfortunately, I'm sure there's probably someone else ready to take over his business, but uh, uh, will be coming for him also. There were a lot of other agencies that assisted with this. This was actually started by Kentucky State Police Desi West along with the DEA out of Lexington. Weddle tells me that he really can't say what exactly led them to identifying Mullins as a suspect in this case, but there was obviously a lot of work that took place prior to this. In Casey County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Police say all of that evidence is being sent to a lab for testing.